don't want to take that away from you, so you can have it. Our next, to our next speaker has missed the last three Winter Park Toastmaster meetings in a row. Since he joined our club in 2008, this has never happened. Through his storytelling path, he will bring us along his recent journey of highs and lows and more highs. Relating directly to speaker number one with the same speech title, elation, deflation, elation, two. <laughs> with grand applause, please welcome to the lectern past club president and two-time Harold Ling Lamplighter Award recipient, that's a lot, Distinguished Toastmaster Carmelo Bellardo the yeah. third. Are you looking forward to something? Who's looking forward to something? Always. I mean really looking forward to something. Well, be grateful for the anticipation. Be grateful for the anticipation. Last spring, as speaker number one mentioned, we planned a vacation. Now, I've been on several cruises with Tim and his wife, and we've had great times. So we were really excited. And it was a Mediterranean cruise, as he said. Going to be a little bit redundant here, but we went to Barcelona, which was great, huge city, too much to see in two days. So we got to, we have to go back. Then there was Morocco, and believe it or not, some of the best food we had was in Rabat in Morocco, and it was cheap. We ate so much food, it was like 14 bucks a person. It was incredible. Canary Islands, Madeira, that's in Portugal, Malaga, that's back in España, Marseille, Genoa. Milan. Who doesn't want to go on that trip? <laughs> 17 days. 17 long days. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The planning, the anticipation, man, what an experience. There were lots of highs. Genoa, the original painting of the Last Supper. Just imagine that. It was one of the highlights of the trip, for, for no doubt. Did you ever hear the story of the marble dog in Genoa? It's at the San Lorenzo Cathedral, built in the 14th century. Google it, because I don't have time to tell you about it. <sighs> going through all these places, nobody knew where we were going. There was eight of us, so it was confusion, mass hysteria. However, we had somebody with a brand new phone who always had internet, well, 99% of the time. And he was the map person. We called him the directions master, <laughs> Tim Linger. Check his Facebook page. There's a picture of him with the DM that we found in the mall. It was great. <laughs> the sleds of Funchal. Oh my god. If you haven't been to Funchal in Madeira, go. It's, it's a lot of fun. Now, going all on vacation, is, uh, there's a double-edged sword at the end of it. Yes, 17 days is a long time. I've never been away for that long. And part of you wants to come home, but part of you doesn't. You want to keep continue, continue the vacation. Now, getting home, a bit of a downer, man. I was deflated. <laughs> the jet lag, oh my god, I'm so sleepy. The 3 a.m. wake up calls, without the call, oh my god. <laughs> Four o'clock, wide awake. What are we doing? Might as well make coffee because I'm not going to sleep. <sighs> Got to see my daughters, family. It was great. We're back here at Toastmasters. Wonderful. But there was some stuff that happened. Now, the irony, Tim talked about his dog situation earlier this year. Both of my dogs went home to be with God. So I definitely relate to that. And plus, Mickey is a cute little dog. So God bless him. Utter deflation. My mom's friend, Peggy, passed away, which is kind of a double blessing because she went home after suffering. I feel she suffered for five years. She had a stroke. She was in a facility. Um, so I think she's in a better place now. And it brought my mom down, so she's going to spend Thanksgiving with us. 
my daughter's friend, his dad passed away unexpectedly two nights ago, and that was pretty devastating. So that continued the deflation. And did I mention the jet lag? <laughs> oh, sorry. And just like that, the planning and the anticipation, it's all over. But the memories, they'll last. We took over 2,000 photographs. And if you go to Tim Linger's Facebook page, you can see them all. <laughs> and there were eight of us. Yes, eight of us. Have you ever traveled with a group of eight? Not family members? Well, I can't really say that, but that's another speech. We did have some wonderful things to come home to. First of all, there's Toastmasters. I've never missed three Toastmasters meetings in a row. And there's Christmas, there's Thanksgiving, there's the party at Linda's house on the 13th. Put it on your calendars. The 13th, it's a Friday. I don't want to hear any excuses. And Christmas, and more family. Now, then there's the next vacation. It's in March. Oh, did speaker number one already mention that? <laughs> March 29th, and did I hear correctly? Did he invite all you people? <laughs> no, I would retract that invitation. None of you fools, I mean folks, none of you folks are invited because a group that's that large is a drag. It's fun, but it's a drag. I mean, you had cough and tea, <laughs> cough in every 10 seconds, and then you had lag and Lou. Where's Lou? <laughs> Oh, dude, that, all right, let's wait for him to catch up. Then he catches up, five minutes later. Where's Lou? Oh, how does he get so far back? I think he does it on purpose. <sighs> Too many travelers can become a drag. So the next cruise is a small group. You're not invited. <laughs> You're not invited. That includes you, Carson. <laughs> when it comes down to it, no matter what it is you're experiencing, no matter what, there's always something to look forward to, even if it's a downtime, even if something's not really going well. There's always something better to look forward to. There's always something to be grateful for. If you're not thinking of something like that right now, close your eyes, take one of those deep breaths that Myra was talking about, and I'm, I promise you something's gonna pop up that's gonna get you excited. Be grateful for that. Mr. Toastmaster. All right.